Hi y'all, it's Michelle and this is my girl Nanny. So if I look awkwardly posed, it's because I'm holding this goofy little child right here. So I feel like this is a little bit of a story more than a tutorial um, on how I did this. So bear with me. So I got tasked to create an animated puzzle. Easy peasy, I'm thinking, easy peasy, right? So I go looking at Canva for puzzle pieces and I really couldn't find anything that one was free and two was different types that would fit together to make a puzzle. And you know me, I have to be kind of a little bit beyond the box. So with that said, I go and look into frames. No real options there either. So I'm like, what am I going to do? I want it to look like a legit puzzle. So I played this Microsoft puzzle. It's not really a game, it's just puzzle. It's free, it's Microsoft, it's in the apps, it's the puzzle app. So I was like, dude, maybe I can get the puzzle pieces from that. So I go and do the first puzzle, but I didn't realize, because I don't pay attention when I'm actually doing the puzzles, that once the puzzle pieces click together, that they make a solid piece. So that didn't do me any good. So my next option was, all right, I said, I'm gonna go get another puzzle set. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to not put them together, but put them in order and kind of lace them around in the right order on the thing without touching, because as soon as they touch, they're gonna to snap together. So I can't get them to touch. So once I get that and I got them all in order, like they would be in a puzzle together, then what I did next, was I screenshotted it. I took it over to remove BG. I removed the background. And then I brought it over to Canva. I went over and put it in Duotone. I put it in Duotone and I took, made it black and black. And there was a little areas because of the way the photo was that were light. And what I did there is I just took the draw tool and made those areas black that were kind of a little too light. And then I went over, downloaded as PNG. Then I went over to Converto, Converto or Convertio. I've never heard anybody say it. I don't know how it's supposed to be said. And then I sent it over there and turned it into a SVG. Then I took it into PowerPoint, uploaded it to PowerPoint, hit the shape, convert to shape. And then what I did is fill it with a photo, downloaded it as a PowerPoint, and then I sent it back over to Canva. And that's how I got my shapes for, for the puzzle. So like, if you have anything that's like really, really oddball-y that you like, there's no element or maybe there's like a photo or something that you've seen on the internet or something, do a screenshot of it, remove the background and do it that way. I mean, I, I feel like for me, for those being like oddball sh shapes, 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 shapes. Um, yeah, I think that was the best for me to do. So that's how I did that. And I thank you for stopping by and coming by and checking out Minnie who has terrible gas at the moment that is really irritating my nose, but I love her dearly. And that's what it is. So I thank you guys for stopping by. I thank you for being patient with me. I've never done this before, like doing being on camera. Um, I've never been a camera person. I hate photos. I hate being on in a camera. I just never been comfortable being in front of any kind of camera, even the little click click kind. So this is new to me. And but I feel like I want to be more personal with y'all. Like the girl from behind the camera, behind the screen, behind the, the mouse. So this is my first attempt. I don't know if it's my last attempt, but one thing I will say is I love you guys. I love your ideas, especially the ones that are on my Facebook that come and we can kind of interact more and throw back and forth ideas and help each other. I love that. Um, my Facebook link is on my page. So you can come and follow me and then you're, you've got access to me. I mean, if you got questions, you got an idea that you just, hey, can you figure this out? Hey, can you make something this way? I love a good project. I'm a challenge person. Challenge me 
ain't gonna guarantee that it's gonna work. But I'll to guarantee you one thing, I'll try. And with that being said, I love you guys. I will see you on the next tutorial. And being any, we out.